All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to go through a quick demo on how to install your Mongo database on uh, on your Mac, on your OS X. Um, fairly new, I'm fairly new to the NoSQL um, architecture, uh, and particularly with Mongo database. Um, but uh, if I make a quick video uh, on to speed up the installation for, for anyone else. A um, couple of things you need to do first. Um, actually, before I do that, um, I'll just download the Mongo database, uh, the most recent one uh, of the date of this uh, of this video. If you go to their website uh, and download it, uh, that's a you know, that's another alternative as well. But uh, I have my command window open here. If I do a paste, give that a run, and that should take about a minute or so. Whilst that's running, uh, you open a new terminal. Uh, and I'm going to install a thing called Homebrew, which allows you to download all your packages and stuff like that for your uh, for your OS X environment. So if you do uh, brew.sh and then just copy that URL to a copy and then do a paste. Uh, do, do, do. It says it's already uh, already installed. Uh, I do have an uninstall package here, um, so I'll un uninstall it first, and then pretend that didn't happen, and then just quickly run the run install. Um, click return, put in your uh, sudo user uh, credentials, and it'll start tapping away. Uh, 40 seconds left so that's all um, that's basically uh, downloaded um, from that perspective so I'll clear that now actually this is already finished fantastic okay so if I do an ls minus la I should see the mongo um, uh, the tar file that's already downloaded so if I do a tar minus xvf for Mongo, basically that just extracts it. Um, give it a new name, a nicer name, Mongo database. Um, so ls minus la, Mongo, all right, it's in there. So, okay, good. So uh, next thing to do is create a directory in which um, your database uh, config and um, all your files will be retained. So uh, I'm going to do a sudo uh, make directory of data. Put my sudo user credentials, uh, and then I'm going to make a database. Um, once I've done that, I just need to change the ownership. So if I do a who am I, you see this dude here he needs to be the owner of that database repository. So again, sudo chown that dude onto database db. So far so good. Um, do minus ls, ls minus la, should see it there. So this guy is now actually owned uh, of that current directory. Um, once you've done that, uh, where am I? Go into your Mongo database um, folder, go into bin, and then you need to install um, your Mongo database using the homebrew um, uh, file that you've just used. So brew, install MongoDB. That will start downloading it's all its dependencies. That might take a little bit of time, um, so I might cut this video a little bit short. Not seeing a bit.
And that's almost finished downloading. Okay, it's downloaded. Okay, great. So, um, all successful. Uh, all looks pretty good. Uh, just remind myself where I am. All right, so I'm still in the bin directory of your Mongo database. Um, what I need to do now is uh, initiate the listener for the Mongo database. Uh, so, Mongo D, and then put in the class path of uh, put in the directory in which your that you've just created your um, database folder. So, DB path is data, I believe. DB. Give that a bash. Okay, so you can now see the actual, uh, it's actually listening on 27017. Keep this open. Um, go into a different terminal. Uh, CD. CD. Mongo database bin. And then within here, you can run the Mongo D. Um, uh, so not Mango D, just the Mongo. Uh, the Mongo allows you your command prompt, um, so you can use. I think it comes out of the box. Use the test database to switch to test. So the installation all looks good. Um, I do have a couple of examples here. So if I want to create my own database, do a copy and paste, and then I can insert one of the one of the objects. And it all looks good. Um, last thing to note is that there is actually a GUI. One one GUI application I discovered is RoboMango. Um, downloaded that, fairly intuitive. Um, just get rid of that, start from scratch. Um, but if I create a connection, obviously the address is on my local system. Uh, and the port is that of what it's currently listening to, 27. 017. So, oh, the computer's running a little bit slow. But if I give that a save and then a connect, you can see that I have my uh, my database um, uh, that I've just created. Uh, within here as well, uh, within my indexes, again, just give you a quick example. If I did x equals 2. Uh, and then give that a refresh, it should pick it up. Okay, and there it is. Again, as you can probably tell, still learning how to use it, but uh, yeah, that gives you a quick demonstration on how to, uh, how to install Mongo database. Uh, please like the video and subscribe as well. All right, guys. Have a good night.